So a lot of people ask me, why should I visit a college campus and what should I do when I'm on that campus? So I asked a tour guide those exact questions when I was on the campus of the University of Alabama. And here is what he had to say. So Andrew, um, you give tours all the time mm -hmm. and there are people who come visit colleges. Why is visiting colleges important? To, to really get the feel of <clears throat> what the atmosphere is like here. There's only so much you can see based on statistics and pictures on the internet. You, I would encourage everybody to you know, go at least visit a few colleges. Don't just go visit your one favorite one. You know, go visit something to compare it to. You know, there's, like I said, if everything's the same on paper, it's really the atmosphere that can you know, make or break your decision on where you go to school. And what kinds of things can you do when you get to a campus? I mean, of course you take the tour and, and you're giving a smash up job. What other kinds of things can you do to get a, a sense of your comfort zone, uh, comfort level on that mm -hmm. campus. The uh, four main things I would encourage you to do when you come on campus: take a campus tour, you know, do the whole official thing. Try to meet with the professor in whatever fields you may be interested in, even if there's a possibility you'll change down in the future. Meet with some, you know, professors so you can kind of get the feel for you know what professors are like here on campus. Go eat in a campus dining facility. That's the food you're going to be eating for the next four years, and food is important. You don't want to go hungry for the next four years. So go eat, see what the atmosphere is like. See if you don't like the food. See if the lines are too long or anything like that. You know, that's, that, I mean, to me, that's important, and I would think it'd be important to most everybody. And also, just walk around on your own. Don't, I'll say that one again, just walk around on your own. Now walk around with just you by yourself or you and your parents, not with a tour guide feeding you information or anything like that. Walk around and just see what you feel like walking around campus by yourself. And who would you, what kinds of things, I mean, can you just walk up to people and ask them questions? I mean, isn't that kind of weird? I can say here on Alabama's campus, I, you know, I don't think that'd be a problem at all, you know, unless somebody, you know, woke up, you know, and they're running late for their <laughs> class or anything like that. You know, then you see him running across the quad. That might be a bad idea. But, you know, if you see somebody walking around, I think anybody most anywhere, but especially at Alabama, you know, they're going to be real happy to help you out, answer your questions, show you where a building is, show you where you need to go or anything like that. So they're not going to think you're weird or anything like that. So it's okay. Okay, if you have questions, you need to ask them. Is that right? You need to ask them. And you need to let your parents ask their questions too because that will make your college transition a lot smoother. You mean Speaking from personal experience. It's, you mean it's okay for mom and dad to ask questions? Absolutely. It will make your life a lot better, I promise. Why? Why would it make... What? what tell me. I mean, explain that. Well, the saying goes, if mama's happy, everybody's happy. So, you know. <laughs>